So new leaked texts show just how Matt Gates is absolutely screwed. These are texts from Joel Greenberg to some other people involved in the sordid activities that he and Matt Gates are alleged to have done. And it basically covers the Venmo transactions that we've been covering over the last few days, specifically where Matt Gates and Joel Greenberg sent hundreds of dollars to various women, some of whom may not have been of age. It notes here, since many of the transactions in question took place on Venmo, Greenberg speculated in his WhatsApp messages that those mobile payment records were the likely evidentiary link to the women. I'm trying to let everyone know who came into contact with any of these girls that the feds are going through my Venmo history and don't want anyone to be caught off guard, Greenberg wrote to his friend, who promptly replied that he wasn't on Venmo, that he had no such history with any of these women, and begged him to quote-unquote absolutely positively leave me the F out of any of this. I'm serious about this, Joel. Now, What's crucial here is that one of these women was named, and this is pretty gross and kind of scummy, Vintage 99, referring to her birth year, 1999. And at the time of the supposed relationship between her and Greenberg and also her and Gates, because it's widely speculated in this article that it's the 17-year-old that kicked this all off, she was 17 at the time. Now, this was the name that she chose for herself on a seeking arrangement type app that links people like her to scumbags like Gates and Greenberg. But nonetheless, that's what they called her. And they were basically trying to pay her legal fees so she wouldn't have to talk to investigators. Sort of a soft bribe for her to stay quiet. All of this shows just how in trouble Matt Gates is because again, as we covered on the channel last week, Joel Greenberg is almost certainly going to take a plea deal with the federal government for a lenient sentence in exchange for flipping on Gates and any other people that are bigger fish than him. Remember what Greenberg's lawyer said when asked how Matt Gates should feel about this development, that he's going to plead guilty almost certainly in exchange for cooperation with the federal government. He said Matt Gates should not be feeling very comfortable right now. This is all circumstantial, but it connects really neatly. And frankly, when you're building a case against someone in law, narrative matters. There's the cold hard facts, but narrative matters. And the narrative here is crystal clear. Matt Gates and Joel Greenberg shared girlfriends. God, that's disgusting when you're talking about people of that age. But they shared girlfriends, quote unquote, and they have a shared history of Gates sending Venmo money to Greenberg, sending money to Greenberg, and then Greenberg redistributing that money to girls on Venmo. And one of the girls that they were worried about in this Venmo thing was Vintage 99 at a time when Vintage 99 was not yet 18 years aged, for lack of a better term, and 18 being the age of consent in that particular state, Florida. And it all connects that Joel Greenberg and Matt Gates got busted using Venmo to pay not just women, but girls. That's what happened here. This is why all of this is coming to a head right now. And if you read this article in full, it's in Politico, it also states that Joel Greenberg went to Matt Gates to have Matt Gates ask Donald Trump for a pardon for Greenberg. So in addition to the pardon talks we've been having about Gates wanting a pardon from Trump and Trump saying that we never had a discussion, but it may have been the case that Trump is either lying or that Gates asked a top Trump staffer who passed it along. So it was a third party conversation. Apparently some of the scumbags in, in, in Gates's ring, this ring of awful evil men were asking him to get them pardons for the same thing that Gates wanted a pardon for. Of course, he couldn't even deliver a pardon for himself, but if, and, and certainly not for his scumbag friends. This is where we're at. This is all circumstantial in a court of law, but in the court of it makes goddamn sense, Gates just got busted with Greenberg using Venmo to pay 17-year-olds calling themselves Vintage 99. What a monster. I hope he spends time behind bars.